so today I'm going to be doing a book review on the book Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. And this is a book that's very, very hyped on booktube right now. And so, of course, I had to read it. I read it, I finished it a couple of days ago, and I thought I would do a talk about it. First off, this cover is gorgeous. I'm absolutely loved. I tried to do a makeup inspired by it. No spoilers in case you haven't read it yet. This is a high fantasy book uh, in this world called Orisha. And you get to follow this one character called Celia. And in this world, there are normal people and there are Maji. But Maji have all been killed by the king, including uh, Celia's mother, who was also ki uh, killed by the king. And now these people are oppressed by society. And you kind of get to follow Celia as she tries to win magic back in this world. Because the Maji, they have this silver hair, so they stand out a lot against the other people, you know, who don't have silver hair. So what I loved about this book is that it is like African inspired fantasy which I haven't read before and I really really like that. I think I would have wanted a little bit more of the tribal thing going on because I feel like they have a culture that is very tribal. You get to learn about the huts they live in and there is a party going on and the festivities and stuff but I wanted a little bit more of that. There was also mention of like costumes and stuff, but it was very very simple and I thought, thought like it was so simple that they basically just could have left it out. So Celia, the main character, she, from the beginning, she is very aggressive. You can feel that she has all this like resentment and hate in her and I'm kind of over that kind of character in a book right now. I feel like it's been done before and I've seen her before in different books. Otherwise, I thought she was a very strong character. I like that she's a good fighter. I always love like powerful women in books but she was just so kick-ass I liked how determined she was she let nothing stop her already in the beginning of the book she's faced in a situation where she has to save her family and get money and so she goes into the city where she meets the princess who's stolen something very very important uh, an object that could bring magic back for all of Maji and change society completely and you get to follow this princess and Celia as they try to you know get magic back this princess Amari you can see how her past has kind of been haunting her how her father she, he's such a tyrant and how that is shown within the family as well as in society and so these two girls who have this resentment for each other because um, Amadi's father killed Celia's mother and they kind of have to move past, you know, generations of hate. And I think that's very, very prominent in something where people have been suppressed for generations and generations, you know. People don't get over it. Even though it started many, many generations back, people can't let go of it. And that's seen in this book, this hate, this objectification um, on the Maji people. They're not even people, they're animals, they're just objects to be slaughtered. And it's so heartbreaking in this book. You really, really feel for the minority in the society. It's so, so painful. You think there's hope. And in every situation, you feel like it's going great. You know, people just get slaughtered. And it was so heartbreaking in this book. But I thought it was done very, very well. The only thing I didn't like about this book is that it felt kind of like, okay, I get it, I've seen this before, there were certain tropes going on, some of the tropes were really, really good. There was like a prophecy thing going on, there was like a journey, you know, there was opposites having to interact, there was a chosen one trope, and there was also like a competition in there that was just like sneaking in, I loved that. And the magic is also very, very fun. All these different Maji people, they have different types of magic when their magic is reawakened. Um, the main character, her mother was a reaper, which means she can summon the dead. And that is also the magic that Celia turns out to have. And that was very, very cool. It's kind of like a unique concept of magic while the other ones are kind of happy. Hers is sort of dark and I really enjoyed that. Sometimes I felt like there was one event that would keep ha haunting each of the characters throughout the story. Like, Amadi had one event and her brother, the prince, which is hunting them down throughout the novel for the king, uh, he had an event that like traumatized him, that made him the way, or like a phrase that he kept going by. And as well as Celia who had her mother being killed as her like trauma. But I felt like that was the only element that kept defining them. And I would have liked some more character depth 
um, from the characters and not just this one event having created them and that being the only thing they talked about. And another critique for this book is that I thought it should have left out the romances completely. I did not like the romances. I see what the character was doing with the romances. romances. I could see kind of why they were there because they had a function for the plot but I just didn't like it. I didn't like how it was done. I thought that, that the friendship between Amadi and Seria should have been much, much like bigger and that should have been the focus of the story. They had a moment towards the end, but otherwise I felt like that should have been what should have like been the characterization development throughout the story and it just wasn't. I really had hope for that and I thought the book would have been better if it would have done that. Two of the issues that I had with the villains in the story, first off, the prince that is hunting them, he was so confusing, like, I kept yelling, like, what do you want? Like, I understand he was supposed to have this inner conflict, but it was just, like, so much back and forth, I kept questioning, like, who is he? And maybe he didn't even know who he was, and that was kind of the point of it. But I felt like I was just so frustrated with him, like, I just wanted him to, like, make up his fucking mind, you know? And same with the king, we got to learn that the king was doing all these killing of the Majis because Maji had killed his family and because Majis were in control before and now the power situation had switched. But I felt like we didn't learn enough about him. You know, I think what he did just doesn't justify why he turned out to be so cruel. I would have liked more character depth on his side. He just felt like this villain and nothing more. And I wish I would have gotten more like positives and negatives from him. Something I really, really, really enjoyed about this book is that they had these animals called like Leonaires and um, animals that were like hybrid animals from our society. Like the Leonaires were this kind of like a big leopard, but they had like six legs and horns and stuff. And I love the animal representation, you know, the friendship between the animals and the humans in this book. That was lovely. All in all, I gave this a four stars. Something that ruined it for me was the ending note. The author had written that this oppression and things they're talking about in the book is almost all about police brutality, but I felt like it was about much, much more. And I felt like that note kind of excluded all the other things I got from the book. And I didn't really like that. I don't know if that's like a hard critique, but all in all, I did enjoy the book. I gave it four stars. I think this book for me just missed that little spark that gives it like a favorite vibe. It could have been that, but it just wasn't. It's definitely a very good read and I recommend it. So that is it for this book review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got what you wanted from this book review. And if you read this book, then comment below what you think. I'd love to know. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye!